Also, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank what you. was the highlight for you? I saw you posted with, with Sean. I saw Julian Huff threw you some sort of dinner party. We wanted to do something and obviously the world is a little bit weird right now. So we just did really low key things with really close friends and family and um, tested everybody before they came over and everyone's vaccinated. So we wanted to make sure we were safe. But yeah, we had we had some wine. We had fresh wine, wine and cake and had a really great time. Oh, I love that. You do look so happy on Instagram. How serious are things between you and Sean? <laughs> There's a lot of engagement rumors out there. Is that something you guys are talking about? Uh, really? People nice just try. Like to see <laughs> nice try. A people, just, people just like to see you you happy and, and in love. I am very happy. Things are going very well and I am very, very happy. Okay. Will you be going to China for the Olympics? Waiting to hear if I get my, if my visa is approved. So hopefully, fingers okay. crossed. I love you more than anyone in this whole wide world. What a watch this was. What kind of made you want to be part of this? I definitely, um, when I read the script, I just loved the realness and how raw it was and how it just really went there uh, with yeah. Angel's story. So. I, as an actor, I'm always drawn to those types of stories and roles. It's just such a beautiful story about love and the things that we can overcome with the power of love. Even though I have a very small role in the film, I, I really wanted to be a part of it because I love the message behind the film. Yeah, it was so beautifully shot. How fun was it to to dress up in all those costumes, the, the hair, the makeup, the, the fashion? It was really amazing, especially because we wore a lot of actual vintage clothing from that era. The costume designer in South Africa, which is where we shot the film, was really, really, um, she really wanted to make sure that it was authentic. And so she, a lot of the pieces are original, but she also constructed some pieces from scratch. I know that Abby probably, you had a lot. I, I had a couple custom outfits as well. I was in a, um, a real corset the entire time. So that Hard was- to very hard to breathe, <laughs> but I definitely, I I wanted that because it was uh, definitely helped with the, the role and the posture and everything. So, and I've also always wanted to wear one, so it was really cool. There's also, I mean, a lot of tragedy and I imagine it was challenging to, to go to some of those places. How did you prepare for those scenes and how did you guys unwind at the end of each day? Like, were you home with a glass of wine? Yeah, it is a pretty heavy film. Um, there's moments of levity and love, but but especially Abby had to do a lot of heavy, heavy scenes and she did them so beautifully. You're so amazing in this film, Abby. Um, but I too, I, I, I my character, spoiler alert, dies in the film at, at one point. And so, spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was that was pretty pretty kind of dark and heavy. But in between the scenes, Abby and I and some of the rest of the cast, we definitely did drink a lot of wine to un to unwind. <laughs> and it was right before the pandemic. We shot it in January and February of 2020. Oh, wow. So, out. yeah. So it was the last and final trip before the world changed forever. And the last moment of kind of freedom and exploration and and ease that I think we all had. So I, I definitely look back on this film with fond memories. Yeah. Do you want to add to that at all? Yeah, I mean, kind of what Nina said as well. I mean, it was, she definitely, yeah, had a very tough scene, which she was amazing in as well. Um, I love the gushing but, over each other. I yeah. love the <laughs> Her biggest fan. Yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely, you know, we would, we would unwind at night, of course, with, with some South African wine. I feel like, you know, we talked about the tragedy of this movie, but also a lot of romance. What makes this a good date night movie? Well, like I mentioned before, it's, it's love is amazing and very difficult. And when people, um, you know, just because you find love doesn't make it like, butterflies and angels and all the good right. things. Like there's, there's gonna be tough times and, and good times and it's really about who you want to spend those hard moments with mm -hmm. and finding that person that you can go through hell and back with. And so um, 
I think it's great to watch that with a lover because it sort of shows you that it's it's going to be a rough road, but you know, <laughs> you can get through it. <laughs> Stick yeah. together. Yeah. Take your significant others. Be like, hey, <laughs> this would is what It might be us, yeah. but we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. We and can would you do this for anything. me? If you wouldn't do this for me, then you better leave right now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.